has been f fun for a small amount of time and then really horrible for a large amount of time. Um, and, you know, very, very challenging. But uh, bits like this yesterday in the horrible weather were very satisfying, actually getting the roof up in the air. So I say small parts of uh, great satisfaction and other parts of great misery and mud. I've been uh, volunteering on eco projects of one sort or another for a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. uh, to various building things and permaculture stuff, all sorts of different things. Uh, but uh, so I've just been down here uh, about 10 days now, mainly doing the stonework and stuff. and uh, surviving the torrential rain and what have you. <laughs> we haven't had the number of, the chance for the, the number of people here. We just haven't been set up. We've barely been set up to cope for ourselves and getting all the kids to school and everything. So we just didn't feel confident in providing for other people as well. I mean, we've been pretty much providing food, you know, cooked food and everything for our volunteers and warm shelter. And I mean, some of these days, that's been about all we could do. We couldn't even work. So, I mean, it has been different and, and uh, you know, hindsight's a great thing. Maybe if we'd realized, we'd have made more use with more people of the, of the er bit, bit earlier on in the, in the autumn. But that's no use to us. We just have to knock on really, don't we? Last day we had a big push at the end of the afternoon. Storm started coming in and we did some very rapid high speed turfing in the semi darkness in the pouring rain, very muddy. And um, yeah, and then there was a big storm and it was all alright. <laughs> so that was that was that was great actually. It felt like a bit of a, a bit of a rebirth afterwards, a bit of a new stage and the old kitchen blew down. So we moved everything down here into the house and uh, yeah, moved in basically. <laughs>